Hello and welcome to the 7th episode of the Kenta Music WordPress Team Tutorial. In this video you will see how to create an event. An event is a custom post type like the one you are seeing that allows you to add some special fields like date, location, address, map, lineup and event detail. To create a new event you can go in Event, Add New, add your title and description. In the event details you can add a date, please be sure to write it as year, month and day. The way the date is going to be displayed in the front end can be customized in the WordPress general settings. You can specify a starting time in 24 hours format. Add some custom Facebook event link or any external website link that you want. And unlimited buy links. Using the plus icon you can add any link that you want. In the lineup section you can add existing artists to the lineup, setting a specific time for each artist. Once done, you can add a custom fit red image. And an event type. Then you can see the result of your event. If you set a future date, a countdown will automatically appear. It is possible to add some location details to the event. This will show a Google map in the event page and will also make possible to create a map with all the upcoming events. To have the place details fields, you need to be sure to have QT Places plugin installed and be sure to have a Google Maps API setting more information are in the QT Places manual included with the product. You can even create places for recurring events and then choose an existing location. Once you choose an existing location, upon saving, all the event place fields will be automatically copied from this location. So we choose update and all the details will appear here. Once set, if you need to customize it, you can set to empty the location details and customize single fields, then save again. The result of our event is visible in the event page. You will see now that the page will contain a Google Place map. The buy tickets will appear here and underneath the title. If you just have one ticket place, the link will directly go to this location. Please always remember 
that to save the custom fields you need to update the page because with preview changes the custom fields will not be updated. Now that even your event is ready, we can go to the next chapter of our manual, the home page creation with Visual Composer. Thank you for watching and see you at the next episode.